Samsung surprised us by announcing two light versions of the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy S10 respectively a few days before CES. And now that we're here, we have our first opportunity to look at them. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. And in my other hand, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite. Uh, right away, you can tell that they have a different shape, a different design. The camera mounts on the back of both of them are square and stick out, which is a harbinger of things to come if the rumors for the Galaxy S11 phone prove true. We're gonna take a look at these two devices. Since this is a Note phone, of course, you've got the S Pen stylus here at the bottom that you can just pop out. I really love using the S Pen. I think that it helps keep the screen a lot cleaner for my fingerprints. It's also my favorite way to take a screenshot because instead of taking a picture of the entire screen, I can just capture really precisely exactly the area that I want to, and it's very fast. What's extra awesome about the light version is that next to the USB-C port, we have a headphone jack. This is something that has been absent from Samsung's high-end phones, and so it's nice to see it here because sometimes you just wanna use your wired headphones. There is one more important difference. The Galaxy S10 Lite does not have a headphone jack. You guys ready to see a close-up of that camera on the back? There it is. We've got a flash and three camera lenses, 12 megapixel main camera, ultra wide angle, and telephoto lens here. And on the front, we've got a 32 megapixel lens. Storage is 128 gigabytes with eight gigabytes of RAM, and there is dual SIM support. It also runs Android 10 and Samsung's new One UI version two. I'm pretty impressed with the battery capacity too. This is 4,500 milliamp hours, and it runs an Exynos processor. So you're probably wondering what's the difference between the Note 10 Lite and the Galaxy S10 Lite, apart from the fact that one has a stylus and one doesn't. Well, they're actually pretty similar. They both have the same screen size, storage, battery capacity, Android version. One thing that is different though are the cameras. You do have a slightly different camera mount. There is a different shape to it and it protrudes a lot more. The cameras themselves are different too. You've got a 48 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and then a five megapixel macro lens and that flash. But it's kind of weird to me, not only that it sticks out a little bit, but that you've got a lot of blank space here. So you think like, why make it a square when all you're gonna do is house the flash there? I don't really know the answer, it just looks different. You also have a different processor in here. You've got Qualcomm Snapdragon chip instead of Samsung's homegrown Exynos. Because of these differences, I can also assume that the S10 Lite will be a little bit cheaper than the Note 10 Lite. The Galaxy S series is always a little bit less than the Note series anyway, so it makes sense, and it's possible they might be offered in different markets. The Note 10 Lite comes in two different colors, and the S10 Lite comes in three different colors. Beyond that, we don't know anything about the pricing or availability anywhere in the world, but stick with us and we'll get you that information as soon as we have it, and be sure to subscribe to CNET for all of the news coming out of CES.